Well, welcome back. After years of planning and Austin voters giving it the green light, student orientation is tomorrow at the city's first medical school. You won't find any lecture halls at UT's new Dell Medical School, though. It is an open design where students have space to do more problem solving. Today we got a sneak peek during a special ceremony. It's a first for Austin. Today's an historic day. Today is a turning point in our city's history. Senator Kirk Watson has been the biggest cheerleader. This truly is a great day to be in Austin, Texas. Two years ago, he stood in this very spot along with the dean of the new Dell Medical School. Then, of course, it was a parking lot and a pretty ugly one. Now the Health Learning Building on Red River stands tall and ready to welcome these future physicians. 50 students were accepted into the inaugural class out of the 4,500 who applied. Woody Green has a wife and daughter and has been a local paramedic for nearly a decade. Medical school was a dream when I was in high school and college. I kind of started to drift away from it, and then, but I always said, you know, if, if the medical school comes to Austin, you know, that, that's for me. We start orientation tomorrow. This is also home for Rachel Fresquez, who graduated from high school right here in Austin. She was sold after meeting the faculty and other students. I need to be around people who are, are like this, who are as excited as I am and who are going to inspire me and who I can learn from. The UT president, Senator Watson, and the new dean have all made their mark on the medical school. Now it's time for these students to take it from here. And now the hard work begins. Good luck to all of those students. The Health Learning Building is the first of three to be completed in downtown Austin.